Does intermittent fasting play any role in cancer prevention and can it help make your cancer treatment more effective? Well, as you know, intermittent fasting is basically time restricted eating in which you eat your entire meals within a particular stipulated time window and fast in the remaining time. A 16 hour fast followed by 8 hour eating window and so on and so forth. Basic scientific rationale for intermittent fasting is that when you prolong the fasting period between your meals, your body's cellular mechanisms like autophagy, they activate in causing reduced inflammation and it can cause some health benefits in the long term. But intermittent fasting has several drawbacks, especially in cancer patients who are requiring active cancer treatment like chemotherapy, etc. These patients already facing chemotherapy side effects like fatigue, altered taste and dehydration because of nausea, vomiting or diarrhea. So in such patients who are on active cancer treatment like chemotherapy, we as oncologists do not recommend intermittent fasting in these patients because it can make them weaker and it can cause more side effects because of the ongoing cancer treatment. For a healthy person who does not have cancer and is looking to explore intermittent fasting as a way to reduce the risk of cancers, well, I have some mixed news for you. Some initial pilot studies, some animal studies have shown that this might be beneficial. But on the other hand, large studies, well-designed population-based studies have not yet confirmed this fact. In fact, there was a recent study which showed that over a long period in over more than 10,000 people when they looked at intermittent fasting, risk of dying because of cardiovascular disease was more in the patients or the people who did intermittent fasting. So take it with a pinch of salt whenever you hear some new news about intermittent fasting. Look at the data, look at how they came to the conclusion. Talk to your doctor if you are a cancer patient. Talk to your oncologist to see whether any sort of fasting is applicable to you or not and then take the decision. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.